Uh, we are here with Peter uh, from Unity, and he's going to tell us a little bit about uh, you know what he's got here. Sure. So, hey, how are you doing today? So, my name is Pete Stormer. I am the National Sales Director for Unity. Unity is a new brand to the U.S. However, we've been in the in, in Asia for over 35 years, two years in Europe, and we're here out supporting the amateur radio community. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our second show. We did Hamvention earlier uh, back in our. Ohio. Very good. And we're here just showing off some raw products. So awesome. we cover basic your basic five food groups I call them. Oscilloscopes, function generators, multimeters, Very power cool. supplies, and spectrum analyzers. Right. We do also make some handheld meters, thermal cameras and multimeters. Very cool. But our focus today is really on the bench equipment. Uh, great for improving your shack, upgrading your shack. Um, so our spect our function our scope started fifty uh, megahertz, two channel, we have four channel. We go all the way up to 500 megahertz as well. And function generators, we start at 20 megahertz, and we go all the way up to 600 megahertz. Uh, multimeters, we go up to six and a half digits on our higher end units. These are our more basic uh, units, which are great for all around applications. Power supplies, we have both linear and switching supplies. This is a single channel linear. We have multi channel linear as well. And then spectrum analyzers, we have a variety with tracking generator options built in. Uh, we can upgrade with different software packages. And this starts off at 1.5 gig, goes all the way up to 8.4 gig as well. Okay. So, Covering a lot of things, we even have we're giving away a little function generator. Now this is a, a one of the most popular cells, 60 megahertz, two channel, nice and portable, under 170 dollars, and that's pretty much what we've got going on here today. So now, in terms of the market, are you like more hobbyist or more professional, or kind of mix of both? So, so the lower end stuff obviously is more the home hobbyist DIY, and that professional stamp, you know, even education is a big market for us as well. Okay. A lot of student lab benches, things like that. But we do have higher end units that go into the multi gig uh, function generators, 26 gig on spectrum. So we do have professional level stuff as well to compete with the name brands that you're more familiar with, who I won't mention, but um, you just get sure you get Unity in the, in the sign. <laughs> uh, but yeah, absolutely. That's, you know, we, we cover pretty much from the basics all the way up to the more high ends. Now, if I was to get into the hobby, now most of my background's not electronics, but sure. in essence, I'm starting to get into electronics. Where's kind of the best? focus for me to kind of think of in terms of, you know, obviously he's dealing with the basic DVMM and that type sure. of stuff, but if I wanted so, to get into this stuff. So, I mean, the, the most basic things you'd probably need is a, is a power supply, because okay. yeah. if, if you have a circuit, you need to power it, so you want to have a power supply that's good, stable, clean power. Okay. That's where you go with linear. Right. Linear is all transformer-based, so the heavier, there are switching supplies, which are lighter, but use um, transistors and circuitry to generate that power, but they produce more noise because it's electronic right. uh, versus a, a more so linear system. Cleaner, quieter yeah, circuit. Cleaner, yeah, yeah cleaner. Yes, good resolution. Okay. So you'd want to have a, 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 a power supply. You probably want to have a multimeter as well. All right. Something to read the different voltages, resistance, things like that. Yep. Um, and then an oscilloscope to look at your voltage over time. Then from there, you know, and again, we started 50 megahertz, 100 megahertz, two channels, probably what most people just would need for the most part. Most bench, yeah, yep. most, for most bench applications. So that, you know, again, 100 megahertz, two channel. And then if you needed to create waveforms in your own shapes to yep. debug a circuit, that's where a function generator comes in. You'd either take a standard wave or a custom wave, what's called an arbitrary wave, that you right. can create yourself and then inject that into your circuit and then read it on your oscilloscope to see, um, am I getting the output I'm expecting when I put this signal in? Right. So that's kind of how you use these pieces. Capable for additional like software to hook up via USB to a PC to be able to pull more data. Software is all included, okay. so they have USB. Uh, most of them have USB interfaces. Some have LAN, right. so they have programming capabilities as well. At the very least, you can put it on your computer and do a single, yeah. a single network on a USB hub or something like that. Um, but yeah, they all have. Um, a lot of them will have what's called SCPI, S C P I, which is a programming language yeah. to interact and control the unit remotely. And all of our products have five year warranties, which is something that's unique to the industry. Okay. So three year standard, two years if you register for free. Yeah. I'll give you two extra years of warranty coverage on it. In terms of um, you know, getting used to obviously when you get in, you know, this type of stuff, your the dials are all foreign to a lot of people. Do you guys have a lot of training stuff that you can you know, educate folks or is it just pretty straightforward it's, in terms of it's pretty straightforward actually. I mean if you've if you've never used anything, sure. that's you know you're gonna have to go on YouTube and you know, watch sure. all the videos. Yep. But if you've used any other brand of equipment, yep. the interfaces they, they may be slightly different, but the basics are all the same. I mean, you can only do so many different things with an oscilloscope interface. Okay, that would be basically Just make like it. I mean, they're, they're all easy to use for the most part. Some the software is a little bit more kludgy yeah. for some people. 
uh, we spent a lot of time building our interface to make it really, um, really user friendly. Very cool. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, so you guys have all this stuff available on your website. We uh, do. Yes. Anything new coming up from? So, so our website is uni-trendus.com. Uni-trend is the parent company website for the headquarters in China. Okay. So new stuff coming out. We have our new one and two gig scopes coming out. Okay. We have a new series of what we call our X series of our 2,000 and 3,000 versions, which we have currently, yep. but the new versions have higher memory, more features, um, more protocol, de pro protocol debugs and decodes. Okay. Uh, we have new spectrum analyzers coming out, which will do signal signal as well. Okay. So they are not a true VNA, but they are a semi-VNA, which covers a lot of ground for a lot of people. Um, new switching power supplies as well to get into higher wattages. So over the next three to six months, we've got a lot of new products coming out, actually. Cool. So be on the lookout.